The fight to end gun violence in Columbus continued tonight on the city's west side. Good evening to everybody and thanks for joining us. I'm Kerry Charles. Colleen has the night off. NBC4's Kyle Beachy has more on the effort to stop crime. The Virginia Summit has been in the works for months, but the organizers tell me for those young men and women in attendance here tonight, the work is just beginning. I am forgiven. I am Virginia. You can't hold it against me. My past is over. My future's ahead of me. I am Virginia. Pastor Mark Hampton had a vision to confront violence with a simple question to young people, will you choose to live? We have to make a decision to support their decision. If we don't make a decision to be the scaffolding in which they build the rest of their lives on, their building is going to crumble. Gun violence has already struck this spring in Columbus. A teenager shot near the Linen Community Center Wednesday. Another teen charged with murder in a gym shooting. Those who are committing those crimes are younger than they've ever been. The crimes are more violent than they, they've ever been. They haven't even started to begin or you live yet. Several speakers shared testimony of a past life full of violence, drugs, and gangs, showing the real world implications. Some of my family have died to the gun violence. Um, a lot of kids usually think it's cool. People my age use guns, think it's cool, and you know, do drugs, but it's not worth it. Many different lessons were learned, like being mindful of who you hang with. Once you separate yourself from them type of folks or find a new crew to hang with that put positive positivity in your mind, you definitely understand how to live. How our actions uh, affect our surroundings. So it was more about thinking and before acting. And at the end, each person was asked to fill out a card and make their decision to live. I think it's um, powerful and I make a decision to live. Pastor Mark Hampton told me right before the summit began tonight that for him it's a win if just one person decides to stay away from violence. The next step is a 10-week mentoring program. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4.